Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck, and as you saw, I just made some yogurt. And one of the yogurts that I made in the yogurt recipe was Greek yogurt, which is strained yogurt, which means really thick yogurt because we've strained all the way out of the yogurt. It's also really healthy. You can do so many amazing things with Greek yogurt. You can just eat it on its own. It's very healthy and add a little bit of toppings to it if you want, some granola, some fruit, whatever you want, maybe a little bit of honey. You can also use it as a substitute for cream cheese and recipes as a healthier alternative. And in my opinion, most importantly, you can use it to make dips that are healthier. And one of the most classic and fabulous dips that Greek yogurt can make, well, it's no surprise, comes from Greece. And that's going to be tzatziki. And it's this amazing, fantastic Greek yogurt based dip that's going to have some cucumber in there. Well, I should say seedless cucumber or English cucumber and some olive oil and some garlic. And guys, wait until you see. It's so easy. It's so simple. So let's just get going and make some healthy, phenomenal tzatziki dip. Opa! So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a batch of Greek yogurt and you can do that by following the recipe that I'll link inside of this written recipe on how to make it. Very, very, very easy to do. It just takes a little time because, well, it has to incubate and then it has to chill. But we're going to want some Greek yogurt here, okay? And this is one batch full of it, which is going to be about mm, six cups or so. And set that aside for a moment while we prep everything that we're going to pop into it. Now let's take a seedless or English cucumber. They're the same thing. Sometimes they're called English cucumbers. And these are usually the kinds of cucumbers that are wrapped up in some plastic here. And they're usually skinnier and longer. It, it all depends on your preference of cucumber, I suppose. But the point of the matter is that you really don't want to use a seeded cucumber. You want to use a seedless one for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this cucumber look all pretty. We're going to take a peeler and we're going to stripe it down every so often so it has that nice little like nuts and bolt effect to it. You'll see. And even though I have magical snap powers to make vegetables just chop up on their own, I'm going to forego that this time and show you how to do it because it's really just that easy. So I've unwrapped my cucumber and I'm going to take my peeler and I'm just going to go, literally go like this. See that? One strip down there, remove the skin. And then just move it over a little bit and make sure we leave a little bit of the skin still on it and then go to the next section, just like this. See that? So it's kind of creating a little like ridge here. We're just going to do that a few times throughout the entire cucumber. And presto, there's our beautiful semi-peeled cucumber looking just like that. Okay, now I'm getting it lazy and I'm going to snap it and cut it up. So you see I slice them into discs like this and now what I'm going to do is I'll stack a few of the discs together and I'm going to quarter them up. So I'm going to show you how I do this really quickly. Alright, so I'm going to take my knife here, use a good one if you can get a good one. I'm using a great Wusthof Classic Icon here and it's fabulous. And I'm just going to cut that way just like this and then I'm just going to turn everything this way in the same stack here and then cut like this. And there we go, we're quartered. Look at all these little pieces of cucumber now. And then do that for the entire cucumber and then just set them aside. I want to use four whole cloves of garlic. Now, you know that I typically, in a lot of my dishes, use jarred garlic, which is totally fine for lots of dishes because the garlic is in a super prominent flavor in the dish. So because this is a dip and the garlic is a lot more prominent here, we're going to use fresh garlic cloves. I'm going to take four of them and I'm going to put them through a garlic press and then I'm going to crush them up. So our garlic should look nice and all squishy and pressed and stuff. And it's going to be a little sticky now too. But that's what garlic does, it sticks. Set it aside. So now I'm going to go to my Greek yogurt, make sure it's nice and chilled right up into this point. And I'm going to now add in my cucumber and my pressed garlic. And let's mix that all together nice and good. It's going to be nice and crunchy with all the cucumber in there too. Make sure we get everything nice and mixed up. And perfect. All right, let's season this baby up. I'm gonna add in three tablespoons of red wine vinegar, a quarter of a cup of extra virgin olive oil, one tablespoon of garlic better than bouillon. This is an amazing ingredient for this, guys. There we go. And mix that all together nice and good and get everything combined in there. You also might want to use a deeper bowl than I am because I'm very close to the brim and I have to be very careful when I mix everything up in here. And I'm also using a tablespoon of dried dill weed. I'm going to add in a half a tablespoon of seasoned salt. Now if you can find Cavender's all-purpose Greek seasoning, add in two teaspoons of it. I'm going to link it in the recipe as well. Or you can just, you know, find it in your market if they have it. They have it in the South a lot. Uh, not 100% required, but this stuff is awesome. And not only just for this dip, but for many seasonings of many meats. And mix everything up nice and good. One more optional and unconventional ingredient I'm going to add to this, guys, and that's going to be a little bit of pesto sauce. I like using the Costco Kirkland Signature brand. This stuff is phenomenal. And I'm going to add in a tablespoon worth. 
and it might look really green at first when you start mixing it in, but it's gonna meld in very, very quickly, giving it just a little bit of a hint of a green, but nothing too extreme. You see, it looks like that once it's mixed in, and I think it really gives it an amazing extra touch, but again, the choice is yours there. All right, and now that everything is nice and started and combined, we have one top-notch tzatziki here. Now, we can either serve it as it is, and you could either dip some pita in it, some vegetables in it, or you know, use it for a side for if you're making a gyro or souvlaki or whatever of that nature, that works perfectly fine. Or you can pop it in the fridge and let it set for a couple of hours and it'll thicken up even more than it is now. So the choice is yours there. And I'm gonna pop it in the fridge for a couple of hours and try it out. And we'll pop a lid on top of it. And we'll pop you in the fridge to set for a couple of hours. And we'll check back on you in a bit. And now that a couple of hours have passed, let's take our tzatziki out of the fridge and try it out. And let's take the lid off. And we'll take a spoon, you'll see it's thickened up some. It's gonna obviously be thicker the longer you leave it in the refrigerator, but this is the perfect consistency, guys, for a tzatziki, in my opinion. All right, now let's serve it up. All right, and now you can serve this with whatever you want. Some pita bread, which I'm gonna do, some pita chips, some vegetables, some gyro, or gyro, as some would call it, and souvlaki, whatever you want. The sky is the tzatziki limit. And I am gonna take some pita and rip some up and then put a little bit of that delicious tzatziki on top of my pita, and now I'm gonna try it out. And there is my tzatziki and some pita, and it's gonna be a little messy because I put a lot in there, so let's try it out. Mm. Ooh, that is a good tzatziki. Perfect, it's perfect. It's not boring, that's the most important thing. Sometimes you get a tzatziki where it's overly thick, and there's very little flavor, but not this guy right here. It's a mix between thick and creamy, and it has an unbelievable flavor, particularly that of garlic and a hint of some vinegar and cucumber. Mmm, a wonderful snack, a wonderful meal. Right in the Instant Pot, such a great deal. Mmm, great use for Greek yogurt. An absolutely great use. And the cucumber in there, amazing consistency. It adds a nice little crunch to that dip. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Lick the spoon. Oh. Just perfection. The tzatziki is everything that I'd ever wanted tzatziki to be. Guys, if you enjoy these easy to follow video recipes, go to pressurelovecooking.com. I have so many recipes there, and you can pin any recipe to any board on Pinterest if that's your thing. Of course, go to facebook.com slash pressurelovecooking and like the page. You're going to see whenever new recipes come out, new updates, some great tips, some advice from others. You're going to love it, guys. And also, at Pressure Luck on YouTube, subscribe there, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, everything. A million times thanks. And guys, this is actually a really healthy alternative to a lot of other dips, so you're gonna really love this one. So enjoy. Let me have another lick of this stuff. Opa! All right, let me have a little bit more of that on some pita. Mmm.